Alrighty, folks, it's Captain Dave in the Wolf Den, and this is the official unboxing of my brand new fillet knives that aren't necessarily fillet knives. really mention them on my blog or anything uh, well maybe I did I might have mentioned it on Facebook but these are from Amazon and if there's a knife out there with the most awesome and the most amount of reviews it's these right here all right the Z light infinity six inch boning knives super steel built to last now these, you know, there's a, these are Japanese style. These aren't from Japan. Actually, you get a, a note from the guy after you buy them. Um, his name was like Chuck Norris or something. But, let's see, it says uh, Japanese technologies, Japanese steel, something or other materials, cryogenic cooling. Okay. Now, there's a ton of reviews, okay, made in People's Republic of China. That's actually what that means. Don't cut on glass or similar hard surfaces. Try not to cut through the bo heavy bones, pry or poke. Do not use as a screwdriver. Regular honing is recommended to maintain the razor sharp edge. Follow us on Twitter, YouTube, Facebook, and Pinterest. All right, but I mean, for the amount of reviews and the way I got these knives, I mean, right off the get-go, when I bought these two, I got $50 off. You know, I don't know, knives to me are just like reels. I'm always looking for reels, of course, that are different. And when I find one, I go really hog wild with it, like I do my Daiwa Ryogas. Now, let's see how this opens up. Oh, there we go. There it is. Hope you can see it. Let me move the light over a little bit. The Z Light Infinity. They call this a presentation box. You know, you got to remember when you look at these knives on YouTube or anywhere, it's all these chefs and everything. It's just, it's not an old charter fishing guide. Okay. So, I'm probably wanting these for a whole different kind of purpose. All right. They call this coming in this presentation box. All right. I don't know if you can see that, but. That's the, what they call the Damascus steel, where they fold the stainless steel, you know, um, a whole bunch of times, supposedly to make it very, very, very strong and hold the edge. Okay, ultra sharp edge for effortless cutting, heavy duty Japanese VG10 super steel clad with 66 layers. That's what this is, 66 layers of carbon stainless steel blade. Tapered bolster, uh, beautiful three metal Japanese mosaic rivets, full tang, meaning goes all the way through, metal on the end here. All right, so these are supposed to be unbelievably sharp. Now, it's not a flexible knife. It's not a knife that you use for, you know, super, uh, you know, this, this putting it down and zipping it off type of thing. But then again, I'm going to start cleaning all my fish. And I have been always trying to clean all my fish, just like old Captain Vince Russo. And the way he does it is... Totally different than just poking it in and shove, shoving the blade all the way through the fish. He gets the maximum amount of meat off of his 
I've got a special little orange ammo box in the boat that I am going to be keeping these in to keep them all nice and dry. Of course, I'm not using this presentation box. I wanted to try these because they had a really, I mean, these people deal, this company obviously deals with a lot of Amazon and they had some unbelievable specials going on. So this is just the first look. And then of course, when I start doing my trout, you'll start seeing these doing the job. Okay, Japanese VG10 Super Steel, 67 layers of high carbon stainless steel, liquid nitrogen cooled with a hardness code. A lot of knives are hardness rated. Um, the blade hardness rated many times at like 56, 58. These are a 61... 61 plus one or something it says there. So, I'm sure I'll cut myself with these. But man, you want to talk about a substantial knife. Um, Bubba Blades have such a bad reputation already on the internet. They're absolutely terrible customer service. Is what you read a lot of times. About the blades chipping and breaking and they... Don't want to do anything about it. And I didn't really care about the bubble. The whole thing with the bubble blade is nothing but that handle. You know, big deal. So I went with these. And I'll be trying these instead and seeing how long I can go. And cleaning fish before I have to sharpen them. Actually, look at this box. It's magnetic. They're spending it. Uh, they're spent. You know, they don't need to do this to impress me. I mean, that's part of the gig with this is this presentation box. It does nothing for me. Absolutely zero. I don't care about a presentation box. You know, the Cutco's. Um, I was going to go try a Cutco lifetime guarantee, and they were actually more than this. So. That's it, the Damascus steel. I mean, it looks like a giant steak knife, but we'll see how she works. These are really beautiful knives when you look at them. Beautiful. I mean, that wood, it's not real wood. It's supposedly like a some kind of impregnated something or other. I know I'm not all techie here. From what I've gathered, not two of these are really the same. They're all different. So, that's the Zeolite Infinities. <laughs> if you're interested, check them out on Amazon. There's ways of getting a super deal on these. You can sign up for an Amazon you know, rewards card or something, like a credit card type deal that I'll probably never use and um, get $50 off and then if you buy two you get another 8% off and then you can do Amazon's free shipping which we all know the shipping from Amazon and everything is so far superior than the United States Postal Service. These were dead on time came from um, not necessarily FedEx it's that other little company that drives around a little like car like vans and the guy came right up to my door and delivered it to me there's one thing that's making Amazon far so far superior to everything and it's all about the delivery so there you go and you'll see me using these for cleaning fish real soon thanks for watching